Greetings and salutations. This is Rhino Burrows and I am <coughs> and welcome to Nerdsville. This video I'm going to go on with a old wrestling promotion that only lasted less than a half year, which was shown on the MTV network and the organization is uh, entitled Wrestling Society X. Now that did have great potential to grow and blossom into an hour, hour and a half long TV show. Where you could have had more in depth conversation with the wrestlers, you could have a bit <coughs> you could have had a better leading up to <coughs> leading up to a guest, like a guest musicians. But they crammed in too much celebrity bias from, you know, musical type thing from the old WCW. They crammed in too much of um, extreme death matches from Japan. They crammed in too much uh, ECW. Trying to condense it down to one solitary half an hour show. It's having these, path honestly, people who should not be in the commentary booth in the commentary booth with the guy who ended up becoming Pitbull. I would say that he didn't deserve, actually, he shouldn't have been on the commentary thing. on the commentary table because you look at it he's a musician he goes and the guys even said oh what what do you think about and also with all the other musicians that were put there like the Black Label Society and that they were talking gibberish about the show they went oh I get, we get paid for the gig, money, yeah, it's all there, put in the pocket, perform, talk bullshit about the professional wrestling, and the wrestlers that are in the ring, and I think a couple of them did, ah, oh, yeah, you know, what about the world ultimate warrior, the, that pythony guy, Jake, uh, Jakey, the sticky, if you don't know the wrestlers, shut the fuck up. Honestly, shut the fuck up. That brought down Wrestling Society X. And having a guy with what I would call a person with extreme mental issues going, Welcome to Wrestling Society X. Yeah? What promoter? Honestly, if I was a promoter of Wrestling Society X, I would fire his ass and go, I'll bring in a guy who can bring that sort of action up, but with just having someone in, in just being a solitary statue, like a solitary person, you know, he stands there, calm. It's like the calm before the storm. You know, with the lights going, going, you know, going into the crowd, up the aisle, along the walls, then boom, lights shine down upon one air, on one person, one, one woman, one man in the ring, and uh, do you have that person, you, it, I would actually have booked Someone who will look like a nerd, an honest to goodness nerd. Like, um, Jimmy Hart or a Bill Alfonso, like a really scrawny, nerdy type person 
maybe even get like a nerdy type woman. But as soon as she belted out that If you, actually, I would actually allow her to cosplay for that week. Actually, I would allow her or him to to cosplay. You know, get in another. Oh, I know pushing cosplaying into the thing would be pushing it a bit more, much, but it would be it would bring more into the company. Like I was like, ah. Candy, cosplay, or if it was a fella, I'll go, hmm, Patrick, cosplay, and if they go, what's cosplay, I go, dress up like a superhero, dress up like a cartoon character, dress up like a, car, like a, a fire, <coughs> like a character from a TV show, or something like that, give them the freedom to go, <coughs> To choose every, give them a budget so they can get the um, necessary material. Like the like, Candy and Patrick could be could have been a like Candy could have walked down to the ring <coughs> while the lights are going all crazy. She goes into the ring, stands in there, boom! The lights beam on top of her, and. She dresses up like Buffy, the Sarah, the Sarah Michelle Geller Buffy, and like down the bottom of the microphone, it has like a bit of a, like what looks like a bloody steak. I mean, go, hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Wrestling Society X, you know, and just do that sort of thing, get the crowd pumped up. Ready to go fight, <coughs> <coughs> fighting for, fighting for like their emotions, fighting for the attention, you know. Oh. Even getting, just to, even if it's Patrick, you know, Patrick could do like a some sort of copper. Go, you, know, you know what? You'll have the right to remain excited for wrestling society. You know, and raise like a night, like a fake night stick in the air, and the copper type persona could be like Gibbs from NCIS. You know that sort of uh, character from NCIS. Each even just change it up. You know, have one week Candy, one week Patrick, one week Candy, one week Patrick. Diversify, you know, get the get the different cosplaying. Yeah, you know, give them a chance to make new, get new cosplaying attire. Then I would look at the rest, and that's to start that's to start off the show. Then I would develop the first. I'll go for the world, make the well world championship tournament. Then I'll go for the television t championship, along with the. Along with like the Divas or the Women's Title Championship the tournament going at the same time. Have a Battle Royale, have an Extreme Rules style Battle Royale for the Hardcore Gimmicky type title. And I would say, I would call up every indie promotion. I would say, you know what? I would even say, you know... I would even call up Ring of Honor. I would ring up TNA. I would ring up the. I would email promotions from all over the world. You know, saying, uh, "What's your second bet?" I would say, "What's your? Who are your best two wrestlers?" All right. Have them come up to come to my come to this area. <coughs> And we're going to have like a tag team t tournament. I'll say, you know, these are the guys from Australia. These are the guys from New Zealand. These are the warriors from Japan. These are the warriors from Thailand. These are the insane, crazy, high risk warriors from Mexico. These are the Canucks, the Canadian cavalry. These, this is the. 
like a the European invasion of tag team of the and right here in the United States our freedom fires <clears throat> that's if and since it's you know based in America I had to be biased you know eh, sorry Australia flag I would get said that you know these like the they look at the Anzacs the wrestlers from <clears throat> yeah, it's the, the Anzac Force, you know, the Australian New Zealand wrestling side, and you got, then you can get your, your then you get like doom them down, and you go, oh, you know what? America, we've lost. Canada, we've they they've lost. Mexico, they've sent their best and they lost. You see, Europeans, they've lost, they've lost, but from Australia and New Zealand. Boomerang Jack and the Maori are taking on from Japan the Kyoto Dragons Mitsi and Harayu or you know Tokyo Harayu is you know something you know and they go in, they wrestle, they become the tag team champions, and then bada bing, bada boom, you got yourself your, like you show yourself your roster. You even, you know, have, um, even after your second year, <coughs> not year, after your second month, you get a bit more people involved, you know, get a bit more, you know, saying, you know what, I want to, like, I'll go do -do 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 online. See the best wrestlers from uh, UK, Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Japan, Amer like North America, South America. <coughs> Just to go, you know what? I'm gonna have the best competitor, the best competitors in this organization. We are going to have a little bit of ECW. We're going to have a little bit of Japanese death matches. We are going to have guests who actually love professional wrestling. I would even go on to a on, on a on a board to go. You know, uh, I would even go to agents. You know, Hollywood agents and go. Do, does any of your clients love professional wrestling? We don't care if they're a newcomer on, on the television circuit. <coughs> we would love to have them come up. And you know what? You could have had a young... Let's see. Who's popular now? You could have had like someone like uh, McGee from... NCIS and and Abby, you know, if they if they if they enjoy professional wrestling, just have them there in a celebrity box with perspex glass going up and over. So they'll be protect like you know they'll be protected, but yeah, they can go. You know what? You suck. And have that sort of interaction. That you know, <sighs> you think you 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 think you're Rocky Stars. That you're behind there, behind this perspex loss. Thank goodness that's so curious. I think uh, have that sort of interaction. Uh, you could have had as time got went on. You've had that thing, uh, Emily Osment and Miley Cyrus from Hannah Montana. After when the that show clock finished, you know, you could have had them come and go. Well, you have know, just the wavy thingamabobs and, and that. Keep building up the stats, you know. Have those un then when those car when those people become popular, and they think, hang on, I think I saw that person on Wrestling Society X. Then you look back and you go. Oh, they were! They're like me! They're a professional wrestling fan! And you know what? From 
something like a, a small thing like the top of this uh, uh, soy sauce container like we just down here a mere appearance on a small professional wrestling circuit could end up being like some you know, something like this you know where <coughs> You've seen like they you've seen them grow, then you realize, hang on, these these guys are top, these guys are a um, movie icon now. We've seen them when they first started in their, their TV career. We've seen that they love professional wrestling, and you can get the wrestling extra fans into watching that sort of those movies, and those fans educate. <coughs> the other fans to go oh hang on you know what on the july 27th 2010 episode of wrestling society x that actor was the actor actress upcoming sports star upcoming celebrity was you know, watch the show, and they'll go, really? Then they'll go, oh, no, 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 no. You know, searching Google, like, searching the search engines, uh, YouTube, um, daily, you know, anything that would give people to you go, know, oh, hang on, hang on, they were there. Why were they there? Then they would watch it from Wrestling Society X from the start, and they would get, oh, this is good, and build up the fan base like that. Not to bring in <coughs> musicians and celebs that know jack shit about professional wrestling. Have celebs, of, you know, future upcoming celebs. With just build them, just have them, you know, over here. Very small. Have a bit, have some roles in ads and have some minor TV spots. Then it comes to be about here. Their well known TV name and icon, and, and that, then it grows up a bit more. Their popularity, more fans come in. <coughs> they go, I wonder what they did in the past. They come down and they see that they love watching Wrestling Society X, and they go, What is this all about? May, may prove fruitful, you know, to bring in more fans <coughs> from, from the outer. Mm. There, <coughs> it could have been, they could have grown to be a beautiful uh, and successful company to this very day. Who knows, maybe Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns may not have been in the WWE. They could have been fighting for the Wrestling Society X's World Heavyweight title instead of the WWE World Heavyweight title. You could have had <clears throat> like your Gunners and your Connors from TNA. Instead of them going into TNA, they could have been Wrestling Society X. You could have had Jeff and Matt Hardy in as Hall of Famers already in the wrestling in Wrestling Society X. You have had the Dudley Boys as Hall of Famers in Wrestling Society X. You have had New Jack. You could have had Vampiro. And we still have that relationship, and you know, <clears throat> and with this new uh, Lucha Underground, you know, have a partnership, you know, say, you know what, some of our guys will we can want to invade your temple, but yet you guys come up and invade us in our, in our, uh, in our Coliseum or something like that, you know, the Coliseum versus the temple. 
Wrestling Society X versus Lucha Underground. Something like something on those on those lines. But it's just MTV. They didn't know how to promote wrestling. They try to cram in so much in such a very small uh, bracket. It wasn't even given a, a proper chance, a chance to develop hate, like you know, a strong fan base. It was crapped on with pathetic artists, and I'm blaming Pitbull as a contributor. Yes, I'm talking about that pathetic asshole, fuck with shit for brains, cock sucking loser. Is it um? Yeah. As soon as an artist or someone outside the thing, this is on the on the company. Push the button. Flushing it down the toilet. Bye bye. Black Label Society. Push the button. <clears throat> bye bye. You got. <clears throat> you had so many fan bases. You had so many. They had so many. Of these art, these so-called artists, that it's like pushing a button, watching the toilet water go down, watching Wrestling Society X follow suit. It's like you know, look, this is the artist. <clears throat> Flushed down the toilet. It is. I would actually. I, honestly, I'm thanking God that I'm not a. I'm a. I'm thank God I'm not a pit bull fan. I'm honestly thanking God that I'm not a pit bull fan. Because. He is. A person who contributed to the fall of a wrestling company. Not to mention MTV had a huge hand in dropping the bomb, dropping the ball with with such a wonderful promotion that could have been up there with the Ring of Honors, could have been up there with the TNAs, could have been up there with the Combat Zone Wrestlings, the New Japan, Old Japan the NWAs and the w and now the WWE the biggest dog on the world <clears throat> Wrestling Society X could have been up there could have had international a recognition could have had a lot of fanhood people coming in you know could have had your Seth Rollins. Could have had your, uh, <coughs> uh, Rusevs, and you could have had your Dolph Ziggler's. You could have had your Sheamus's. You could have had your Gunners, your Connors, your Young Bucks. You could have had your Juice and Thunder Liger types. You could have had your Abysses types. You know that sort of thing, but. I would expect from a wrestling promotion that was run by musical, so called music channel uh, executives trying to think of something new and different. That was silver plate. That this is professional wrestling, and they tossed it all away. 
and if you want to look at it MTV they they can be classified as professional wrestling war criminals because they made it more about the stunts they made it more about the explosions they made it more about these celebrity nobodies and these pathetic undercarders they try to get they brought down the reputation of guys like X-Pac, Vampiro trashed the heart family name and it's just so much that what they did was wrong and to say you know what oh on the first in these episodes oh we're gonna go out electrocution what you know electrocutions we're gonna we're gonna have these guys get blown up we're gonna have these guys being burnt you know these guys are going to be not burnt but you know these guys are going to be put their bodies so much on the line put their put their not only their wrestling careers but their own life in the hands of fate for the fans of the Lord God Almighty for a cup for a promotion that was doomed from the start the concept doomed from the start there's so much that <coughs> went wrong with wrestling society x i look and i see no professional title belt let me just double check here wrestling Wow, they actually had a title belt. Must admit, it looks good. But they made it worthless. They turned it into a waste of metal and leather. Damn pathetic. It's just so wrong of how they treat a professional wrestling. I wouldn't, <coughs> and I wouldn't be surprised if no promotion would want to work with them, work with MTV. They've already made a mockery of professional wrestling with their celebrity death match. Was using clamation wrestlers. There's just so much bullshit that happened with that company. I just want to wish all those, all those professional, <coughs> all those professional wrestlers and ring announcers and that who were actually passionate about the company. I, I want to wish them all the best, but any promotion you're thinking about going with. Uh, MTV scrap the idea I'm just saying that you know Wrestling Society X had a good shot it was a good concept but the execution was poorly uh, was poorly pulled off I've been Rhino Barrows and peace